Welcome along to the Racers TV. A quiet week of racing coming up this week. Just a meeting on Saturday at the Morpherville Park Circuit and next Wednesday we go racing at Gawler. So, well, an easy week. I think we've deserved it. We've been very, very busy in recent months. The SATAB Up and Coming Apprentice Series was a four race series. Jackson Matthews, the winner of the overall challenge. Jackson, firstly, congratulations. Thanks, Terry. Is it a uh, competitive little series that goes on between the apprentice riders? Oh, definitely. You know, everyone's trying to get the better rides, and, um, you know, it's just luck of the draw, I suppose. Whether you can get the better one, so. It was only a four race series. You were lucky enough to win two of the races. Firstly, Asa Boy for Peter Blanche. Yeah, correct. Yeah, we won the, I think it was the second leg at Murray Bridge in the series. Um, yeah, come down the outside fence on him and got up today as well, so, for John Hickmont. Yeah, winning on Wilder Wilder for John Hickmont. Uh, Jackson, you don't seem to be getting a lot of opportunities at the moment, but the strike rate's pretty good. Yeah, look, I'm only getting sort of one or two rides a meeting, but I'm always there, you know, I'm always getting a winner or running second or third, so, oh well, yeah, the strike rate should be through the roof at the moment. And winning the challenge, you get a $1,000 Harvey Norman voucher. Have you got your eyes on anything? Oh, no, not really. Um, probably due for an update of TV, so have to have a look around. <laughs> well, Jamie Carr's had a whirlwind start to her career and at the moment, Jamie, equal leader on the Jockeys Premiership in Adelaide with Dominic Tourneur. Yeah, um, yeah no, it's been amazing. I had a really good start this year and um, went a bit slow uh, for a few, a few months back, but um, hopefully I've picked up again. Had a treble last weekend, not this one last weekend, but yeah, hopefully pick up again. What's been um, the highlight of the last 12 months for you, Jamie? Oh, well, probably the highlight would have been my Melbourne winner um, in Mooney Valley with my boss, uh, Highness. That was really incredible, um, especially because it was a Mooney Valley night meeting, so it was a big thrill to win that. And Jamie, you're 17 years of age? Yes, 17. <laughs> All right, and um, it, it's happened so quickly. Have, has it been easy for you to keep your feet on the ground? Yeah, well, um, my boss always <laughs> knocks me down a few pegs, but um, no, it's, it's, I've just been so lucky to have this support from everyone. I'm very grateful. And your boss is John McMillan, and your mum and dad are great supporters as well. They're yeah. always at the track, even at the provincial meetings. Yeah, they're here every every day. I um, think they're coming to jump outs on Friday. They're always there watching me. Um, they're, no, they've been a great support. And just on your mum and dad, um, I understand they were both uh, Winter Olympians, is that right? Yes. Um, they um, they won, I think, gold medal, medal back in 92, um, ice skating. Yeah, so they've um, had a lot of support and they're... They've, they had to have a lot of discipline in their sport, so I get that from them, I suppose. And Jamie, regardless of what happens in the next two months, you can be really proud of your achievements in the racing season. It's, it's a great battle at the moment for the Premiership. The yeah. Metropolitan Jockeys Premiership between yourself and Dominic Tonneur and Paul Gatt and Matthew Nielsen are there. And clearly, Indop's not far away, but you're assured of one title anyway. The, the Apprentices Award, you, you're well clear there yeah. from Crystal <laughs> Bishop and Scott Westover. Yeah, well, um, hopefully I can get a few more winners, but it's just been a great thrill so far to be um, leading for this long. <laughs> Nice to catch up with a couple of the promising apprentices here in South Australia, Jackson Matthews and Jamie Carr. Let's have a look at uh, two of the feature races coming up at Morfordville on Saturday, or two of the main races on the program. Race number six, firstly, the Scousey Produce Handicap. Very good sprint race there, so the likes of Just Sybil, who tops the weights. Assertive Eagle, a terrific win last start. Streetcar Magic stepping out again, Petman for John Hyam, and Daytona Grey, he was a brilliant winner last start. That's a really good open handicap over 12.50. And the following race, race number seven, the Independent Produce Supplies Handicap. The weight's headed by Almighty Bullet, another good chance for John Hyam on the program. I thought Endless Shadow was a terrific run first up for Tony McAvoy. I think it will run very well. See Aaron Purcells travelling over with another horse this weekend, Shyster, after his winner at Morfordville last weekend with a heavily backed Valmonde. We'll see you again next week on The Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.